Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going lovely. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thanks for joining me for Try It Out Tuesday. Today we are going to create a card using a new item over at the Simon Says Stamp Shop. This is part of their uh, Peace on Earth release and it is called Fine Petal Leaf Branches. They are so pretty guys. There's etch detail in these and what etch detail is, is it's cut lines that create a pattern uh, versus embossed detail. The cut lines really do make it stand out and so I thought we would make a pretty simple card for today um, creating a background with the leaf and then creating a focal point with the flower so I do want to stack my flowers together so I'm going to end up die cutting out the flower four times with white cardstock and then each of the darker green cardstock and the lighter green cardstock um, we're going to die cut out the leaves five times each with those now I'm just doing some basic coloring over my image. I listed the colors up on top of my Copic markers, but these are fairly light colors and I, I was kind of going for a, a really soft, natural look. So lightly color the leaves and then I'll lightly color the base of my flower. And then we're going to do a little stacking with it. We're just going to punch out this flower here. This is going to be on the top. Now, you don't have to do the stacking, but I love the clean look of it, um, especially when it's at a side view. You could use foam adhesive if you wanted and skip the layering. Um, and you could also use glue if you wanted to. I thought it'd be faster if I die cut this, um, or actually went over my die cut with my tape runner. And it worked out really good. You just want to make sure you get the stem, because sometimes if you miss the bottom, the stems will lift up. But I'll go ahead and continue my stacking. Um, lastly, I'll put the colored one on the very top. And it really does create a nice, solid chipboard image. Um, and it does cause, uh, give dimension too, which at the same time, which is really nice. But foam squares would work just as well. Once I'm done stacking all of them together, you can see the depth of this has. Four of them create maybe a little less than an eighth of an inch. Um, flower which is nice. Now we're going to do a little bit more die cutting using some double stitched rectangle dies. These are from Art Impressions. I think the Simon Shop may be out of stock of these right now but if you guys are interested in these it's a die set. Um, just click on the link at the Simon Shop that says um, notify me when they are back in stock and then they'll send you um, a notification saying that it's back in stock as a reminder but um, if you already have stitch rectangle dies, cut out two different size panels. My first panel is slightly smaller than my card base, and then my second panel, I, I'm going to end up changing that out later on. But for my background, we are adding adhesive behind all of the leaves and kind of alternating the colors. The, the lighter color is the same color as my background. It looks like it's a different color, but they're, it's actually the same color. It's just um, standing out. Maybe it's my lighting. but the lighter color leaves are, are basically the same as my background. Um, once I finish going around the edges, I wasn't worried about the center of it because we're going to cover it with that panel. I'm just going to trim off the excess that's overhanging. And if you do have excess leaves, it's a good way to fill in the open areas. So keep those and fill in any open areas. I'm going to go ahead and add adhesive behind this panel and we're going to put this on an A2 size card base. And you can see it leaves me a little bit of a border. Once this is adhered, we're going to go ahead and um, add our flower to our panel. But I think this panel is just a little too big. So we're going to switch it out for a slightly smaller panel. And I think this is, I didn't want to hide my leaves in the background because um, the etched detail on here is so pretty. You'll see in the close-ups how pretty it is. But a little bit overhangs on the, on the top and the bottom and I thought about adding a bow with some natural colored twine but decided not to. I think it's going to be pretty without the twine. Now for my sentiment I'm using uh, one of the sentiments in the happy sentiment strips from Simon. I trimmed down that with my paper trimmer and it's a happy birthday sentiment which so we're going to make a happy birthday card but we'll go ahead and add our flower to our little white panel a little bit overhanging on top and a little bit overhanging on the bottom for a balance. Right now it looks like it's top heavy, but once we add our sentiment over the bottom, I think it's going to um, 
I think it's going to work out great. We'll flip this over. I'm going to add some um, fun foam behind it. And then this is going to go in the center. Carefully, you want to be real careful because you could lift up the leaves in your background. Once it's centered, um, since I have to mention that we created stacking all three of those flowers together, rather than adding a foam adhesive in a straight strip behind my sentiment strip, I'm going to trim down a couple pieces and put one to the left of my stem and then put one to the right. This way, I don't have that, I won't have a bump basically and it's easier kind of positioning it on my panel versus figuring it out after I have it behind my sentiment. We'll just remove the release paper and then add our birthday sentiment. And I love how just organic this look. I think it looks very natural. Next for bells and whistles, I'm not going to do much. I'm just going to bring in my Spectrum Noir sparkle pen and add a little sparkle to our flower. And then that finishes off my card today, guys, for Try It Out Tuesday. If you're interested in this die set, I'll list it down below. But I um, hope you have a fabulous day. Thanks so much for joining me. We will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.